You know, I first came to China, not many Chinese DJs were doing it as, well, they were doing it, but they weren't making enough money that they should have to be able to sustain a career from it. So what I want to try and do with this is, is raise the profile of those DJs and the industry and yeah, I'll just you know, add to the growth here. Hi everyone, thanks for watching Duke's Copy TV. Today we interviewed Mr. Spencer Tierin, who is the CEO of Pyro Music. So can you tell us why you want to launch Pyro in China? Okay, sure. I, I came here about nine years ago and uh, as a DJ. So I was doing a uh, music director for a big club here called Mint. Uh, and I already had a bit of a background in IT because I had a business doing that before in the UK. Um, so after a few years of doing the DJing, I kind of decided it was time for me to start a business again. And I saw a lot of opportunity for electronic music here. Uh, lots of DJs starting to make music, but the club scene being really uh, you know, exciting and a real big opportunity for international labels and DJs to come here and, and tour and, and you know, make an income from being a DJ or in electronic music. So I decided to start a platform and the rest is history, I guess. So. And I can see that yesterday you've just uh, uh, gave reward to some DJs in the ranking list. Yes. Why is that? Why do you want to reward your DJs? Uh, there's a number of reasons. Uh, but the main reason is it helps to raise the profile of the DJs here. Um, you know, there's always a lot of controversy around a, a list because you know people will hate on it or people will like it. It kind of evokes emotion um, because not everyone wants to get voted for something. You know, it's kind of a bit controversial. But that it's undoubted that it raises the profile of everyone involved. It raises the profile of electronic music industry as a whole. Uh, and in the end, people can start making more money from their shows and they can actually become a proper, a proper life and career for uh, local Chinese DJs, which is my goal. You know, I first came to China, not many Chinese DJs were doing it as, well, they were doing it, but they weren't making enough money that they should have to be able to sustain a career from it. So what I want to try and do with this is, is raise the profile of those DJs and the industry and yeah, I'll just you know, add to the growth here. Can I ask, is Pyro try to find some new talented DJs? Of course, we do, we do all the time. We have over 10,000 DJs on our platform uploading music all the time. Uh, and we work closely with many of them to help promote their tracks, put on events, do live streaming, help them with their branding. Um, we hold lots of kind of workshops with international DJs. Um, just to, it's education about why a DJ should promote himself and how he should promote himself. Um, and we're always looking for a new talent, you know, helping to connect people with different labels. We're not a management company, so we definitely don't sign people exclusive. We just help raise the industry as a whole. So if I see someone that makes great music, I give that music to maybe a bigger label for them to look at, or I provide them with an introduction with uh, the right person. Um, for instance, we invited 50 DJs to come here to IMS, and at first they didn't know why they should come, and I explained to them, you know, this is a great chance for you to meet new people, network, and expand your career. So, uh, can you tell me more about why you're going to come to IMS? For the, exactly the reasons I just, I just said, I guess, like to meet people and to represent Pyro and to represent electronic music here in China. Um, and yeah, it's a great opportunity to really push my brand um, and continue relationships because you know having those relationships is super important in any career that you have. I can see yesterday that um, Pyro has a ranking list of DJs and bars. Yeah. Um, do you think how to make sure the credibility of it? Very difficult um, because uh, not everyone wants to ask for votes and there's, you know, it's, it's, it's hard to do so there's always going to be people that are upset with it but there's also the majority of people love it because it's a great thing for them. And what we tried to do was um, like a hybrid system. So we took votes from everyone. So that gave us a list of all the you know, people that got the most votes. But then to try and make it more fairer and like really focus on talent, we then asked a panel of 25 people to vote for the top 25, um, for the top 20, sorry. Uh, and that was, they were industry experts and people around the world like Armada and Revealed and Spinning. And that was really great because it also gave a chance for them to a and and look at all these artists in the top 20, all the Chinese DJs. The future plan of Pyro is to continue growth here in, in China. Um, and hopefully along with the market we can get bigger and we can at some point become a sustainable business. You know, right now it's very difficult to operate as a DSP because you know, it's hard to make money. Um, so we're continually investing in the product. Um, 
and we're developing businesses around it. Like we do a company called Groove Dynasty, which looks after social media for a lot of uh, big names here. Um, and we're helping with licensing. So we're kind of building our services as a whole. Thanks for watching Jukescope TV. This is Ying Wang. I'll catch up next time.